measuring and cutting a patch panel or a new rocker panel, in this case, can be difficult. But today I thought I'd go over a few things that can make that job a lot easier for you. The first thing I like to do is to just hold the rocker panel or new patch panel into place about where it's supposed to be. And that looks like where it's supposed to be. Then I'm just going to mark it so that I'm, I'm cutting this thing about two inches too long. And then down at the other end, we're going to mark it two inches. The main goal is to cut it so that it can lay over this and overlap about a couple of inches. Then I can mark exactly where I need to cut it. After you've cut off a majority of the patch panel that you don't need, you can then set it up into place and start to mark exactly where it needs to be cut. So it's into place, and then I'm going to look at the old and mark on the new. So it's into place, I look at the old, and I mark it. I move it out of the way a little bit, and mark it. Move it, mark it. Then down here, move it out of the way, and mark it. And I, I mark it a little bit long, so that I might have an eighth of an inch extra that I can either file or grind off, so that I can get it to match up perfect for a butt weld. Then at the other end, I do the same. I mark it, move it away, mark it, and, and proceed like that. After I get this cut, we'll put it into place and see how close we are. And just so that you know what I'm using to cut with, I've been using a nibbler and a combination of tin snips, one that cuts straight, right, and left. Now we can finish that edge up with a grinder. Make it real nice. After the second trimming, it fits real nice down here, but it's about an eighth inch too long down here. But I'm fine with that. I'm going to snip off just a little bit more, maybe grind it a little bit with a, a nice flat grinder, and just play with it until I get it to fit perfect. Once I get that done and all clamped into place, I'll show you the finished panel ready to be butt welded into place. After having a little bit of patience and just cutting off a little at a time with some good quality tin snips, your panel should be butted up there ready to be welded into place. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to go about measuring and cutting a patch panel to fit almost perfectly. And if you did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.